Tell me, in, 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 in the case of the assaults that are done through the shot caller system that the guards allow, um, since your report outlines <clears throat> that these things are routinely done, um, why aren't the deputies uh, on duty when assaults occur charged with assault? Well, I tell you what, you know, if we, I think if we could show that a deputy had, you know, had some, something to do with that, had some kind of knowledge that an assault was going to occur, then he would be part of that assault. Uh, but we don't have, we don't, we have, you know, this evidence that we have, and you'll um, be able to read, to read the transcripts. But let me just say a couple of things about it. One is that it's, it's, I think it's, uh, it's certainly reliable in the, in the, in the general sense. I, I don't think there's any question about. Um, what was happening in the jail, and everybody knew about the kinds of things that were going on, and it was, it was really um, uh, pretty much developed into what you might think of as a culture. Um, but the testimony was, was not specific. The testimony was more like, this happens, that happens, these things are happening all the time. Um, not that a specific victim was assaulted at a, at a certain time, which is the kind of evidence that we need to, to bring a charge. And, if you look at the transcripts, what you're going to see, and and um, well, basically what you're going to see is you're going to see our a lot of the time spent by our deputies is to is trying to get that kind of specific evidence that would give rise to those charges, and it just doesn't. We just can't get it, and so it 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 really is insufficient. <coughs> to, yes. Tony, was there any evidence? that uh, other than what could be proved in the court, was there an indication that there was a form of conspiracy or uh, deliberate acts of concealing information, such as uh, a tape player that wasn't recording during the opportune moments? Well, there are some missing files, uh, but we don't have, uh, we don't have evidence as to how those files turned out to be missing. So, if, and we don't have, like, a cons when you say conspiracy, and what you need for conspiracy is uh, evidence of, of an agreement between two or more people to violate the law, and and, and we just we don't have such evidence. We have uh, we have suspicions, shortcomings, uh, but not sufficient evidence to, uh, to prove something like that. Is the investigation ongoing on those things? Well, you know, I, I think all I can say is we certainly would still be open for evidence, but, but we've done a very uh, uh, thorough investigation, put a great deal of resources into this, and, uh, and I think we're, we're going to need uh, uh, to work with what we have and, and, uh, and move forward. Has a disciplinary action been taken against the deputies that routinely slept and that kind of thing, or was every, everything waiting for this? The Prior, of this? yeah, the the, uh, the, sh the sheriff, the acting sheriff, is really not able to take any uh, disciplinary action, to be honest with you, until uh, he actually gets the evidence. So what? So he needs um, not just our report, or briefing. He needs the transcripts, and uh, you know, once they get that and they review that, then they can take uh, appropriate action. Serena, yeah, yeah uh, you oppose the OIR. And, and it's good to see you. Hey, no problem. Good, uh, you oppose the OIR. And, uh, no. uh, well, I remember when you opposed it at the Board of Supervisors. No, I, I, I'd be you, surprised if you did remember that. I was right there. You were, you were, came out against it. You explained that the grand jury. Are you talking about the CLERB? The CLERB, which grew into the OIR. Well, see, that's a different thing, though, isn't it? I mean, the CLERB was a, uh, you know, was a, uh, you know, was to be a, uh, a committee that had subpoena power and, and that sort of thing, and the OIR is quite different than that. Right, so but we, you, not, we didn't support, uh, we didn't oppose the OIR, object to it. In fact, uh, we helped write it. So, what role will that play now in, in, uh, in this specific, maybe some of the reforms? Is there a role for it? Is this for us for future? I think I think that the OIR uh, is really meant primarily to uh, uh, to work with uh, with individualized complaints and. Uh, uh, you know, and to and to consider those. And uh, however, I am going to be making. I have made a recommendation. And I'll be continuing to uh, uh, to work on a recommendation for an independent monitor that would be uh, uh, somebody who would uh, uh, have who would have the authority to uh, monitor the jail in the sense of uh, making visits, announced and unannounced visits, and uh, reviewing the policies and and uh, <coughs> attempting to uh, see how things are operating in the jail, making. Reports and recommendations. Like what they had in, uh, 
LA with a, a separate ombudsman? So, no, I don't think so. I, I think an independent monitor would be, would be uh, pretty much just that, would be an independent person who uh, wouldn't really be involved necessarily in the individualized complaints like the OIR might be, but in, in the process of going to make sure that, uh, uh, that the policies are being followed. Like these policies, for example, I mean, we've got a lot of policies that, uh, if you look at the, at the sheriff's policies, they're pretty good. I mean, they, you know, they, uh, really uh, um, are laid out to protect uh, uh, the security of the people who jail. And if those policies are followed, um, you know, overall, I mean, wouldn't, I mean there, there might need to be some changes, but overall, things would be a lot better. And so we need to, what we need to do is to, is to figure out some way to ensure that, that those kinds of things are being followed. You know, followed. And uh, uh, so that's what I, that's my idea of the, of the impact. Do you think that the totality of what you've described here regarding the jail amounts to civil rights violations the federal government should be involved? Um, if there were any specifics, uh, you know, we, we would bring charges. If there was enough, if there was enough uh, specific evidence to show civil rights violations, I mean, we'd be happy to turn this whole thing over to the uh, federal government. In fact, they'd be able to see the transcripts if they want. There's a Mr. lot of. There was a question here. Yeah, it, you you had mentioned there were individuals who failed to follow the admonishment of the grand jury not yes. to uh, comment. Is that against the law to fail to follow that admonishment? It and could be. It punishment? could be charged as a contempt of court. Um, but, Why wouldn't uh, it be? Well, it's it still could be. We're we're you know waiting on that. I you know I'm not sure that that's really the uh, the best thing to do in this case. I think. Uh, Tell you the truth, uh, uh, those people's jobs are um, probably uh, going to be forfeited for that. 